Hey guys, this is Victor, the Wise Traditions Nutritionist from Vitagenics. And today I want to speak to you about vitamin B1 thiamine. Now, this is part of a series by Dr. Chris Masterjohn, and I'm really just regurgitating what he's already put out in his uh, emails as part of his like 30-day course that's been ongoing for a while. So definitely uh, check him out, sign up for that, and you'll get a lot more information than I'm providing you here. I'm just trying to do this in like five minutes or so. So anyway, vitamin B1, how do we get it and why do we care, okay? So the best sources of vitamin B1 that Chris lists are nutritional yeast, which I really like to use myself when I make popcorn. And then uh, the other really good sources are your grains, legumes, beans. However, if you're going to use those as a source, please make sure that you're soaking or fermenting, sprouting, etc. Otherwise, you're just getting a bunch of anti-nutrients along with those food sources. So for me, myself, uh, I prefer the nutritional yeast. It just happens to be part of my diet. And these are daily doses that we're talking about. Okay, so uh, the second best sources that Chris lists are some specific veggies and spices. And here's actually a list. And, uh, you know, if you use a lot of different spices while you're cooking, you're really adding a lot of nutrition to your food. And you can see some spices here and mushrooms and other things. So you have quite a variety of ways to get vitamin B1 into your diet. Now, in addition, meat, meat is a little bit tricky. You want to make sure it's good meat, pastured meats, not the stuff that comes from CAFOs, not your supermarket stuff where they're the beef, the cows are raised on grain. That doesn't really have much B1. But the good stuff, the natural, humanely raised animals, they do have good vitamin B1 content. Seafood typically does not, except for oysters, which are an excellent source. Okay, so those are a whole bunch of ways to get your vitamin B1. Why do we care, right? So you need B1 to burn energy, any kind of energy, whether it's carbs, fat, or protein. So, you know, like if you're feeling tired and run down, it might be a vitamin B1 deficiency because you can't burn carbs without it. Now, another thing is if you're taking in a lot of carbs and sugar and you don't have vitamin B1, this is going to lead to glucose building up in your blood. That's not good. You're going to get that crazy insulin response. And then if this becomes a chronic condition, that's going to lead to diabetes. So vitamin B1 is important for keeping the blood, uh, keeping the sugar out of your blood. And uh, again, I mentioned you need B1 even to burn fat and protein. So even if you're on a carnivore diet or a ketogenic diet, whatever, you still need vitamin B1 to burn up that fuel. Okay, so... If your B1 status is more severe, you might experience a lot of other different issues. So here's a list of things. And again, Chris has this covered in his, uh, in his information. And I'm listing it here because if you are experiencing any, of, experiencing any of these things, it might be because you are really deficient in vitamin B1. So just be careful. Take a look. Maybe this can help open your eyes to some of your deficiencies. All right, so moving on, uh, some of the good things about B1, uh, just to let you know, it's not only for burning fuel, it's really an important metabolite for a lot of things. Okay, so uh, sorry, I had a little blip there. Um, anyway, continuing on, uh, that's actually about it for vitamin B1, thiamine. And uh, the one comment that I'd like to make before I go is that uh, you'll notice everything here about getting vitamin B1 is talking about the food sources. And I didn't mention anything about supplements. And uh, Chris will list some supplements and talk about them a bit in his uh, email and videos, etc. However, I'm not really big on supplementation because... It's not the same, right? You've got all these different isomers. There are different issues. It's going to deplete your body of other resources. Uh, of course, in some cases, uh, it, it might be necessary that you, you really do need a supplement uh, in the form of a capsule or tablet, etc. Uh, however, 
I always discourage that because there are a lot of different issues that can occur with supplementation. So always focus first on your food and uh, good luck with getting your vitamin B1. So that's it for now. Uh, thank you again for watching. I hope you subscribe and uh, I'll see you again soon.